hermit crabs. Most reef tanks have hermit crabs in them, and for many of us, they're amongst the very first live animals that we add. Part of a cleanup crew, sometimes we forget to take a moment just to sit down and watch these interesting little crabs go about their lives. They're often colorful in their own right, and they lead active lifestyles amongst the rocks and nooks and crannies in our reef tanks. Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and this week's video is all about the hermit crab, and in particular, how they go about selecting a new shell. Now, as a side note, I've noticed something like 90% of you don't actually subscribe. So, you know, how about subscribing? <laughs> I came across a paper titled, Protection Over Mobility? How Shell Selection in the Hermit Crab Syllabinarius Ithripiosis is Modulated by Availability and Ecological Conditions. It's linked down below in the description. You can pronounce the Latin your own way. And it's quite an interesting little study on shell selection. Hermit crabs are part of the phylum Arthropoda, which includes all of the crustaceans and all the insects and spiders, all that kind of stuff. Hermit crabs are sort of an interesting case, though. They rely totally on the discarded shells of another animal, snails, for shelter. They've actually lost their hard exoskeleton on the back half of their body, leaving them completely unprotected when they're out of a shell. Hermit crabs also don't have the ability to kick a living snail out of a shell. Some crabs are known to do this, but hermits have to wait, at least until the snail is dead. Many of them have a finely tuned sensory ability that lets them detect a dead snail from some distance away, and this helps them get first dibs on that shell. Now there are two major types of snail shell in the ocean. A globular shell, like a nerite snail or an astrea snail, and a conical shell, like a cirrus snail. In general, the globular shells are better for getting around in. Hermit crabs that need to travel great distances do it much better in a globular shell. Now, on the other hand, the pointy conical shells are better for protection, if not a bit awkward to get around in. They have smaller openings, called an aperture, and their thicker walls lead to much better protection against predators. Their thin conical shape is also better for hermits that need to cling to a rock where waves might be breaking like those living in the tide pool zones. Now, not all hermit crabs live in tide pools, though, or even in the intertidal areas around them. Hermit crabs inhabit nearly every marine ecosystem, from the seashores where we can explore on foot to the deepest trenches at the bottom of the ocean. Now, you might wonder, how does a deep sea hermit crab get a shell to use for protection? In fact, some of those, like the one you see here, don't even use shells. This species carries around an anemone instead. The paper points out that the selection between these two general types of shells seems to be very much a reaction to the, the environment that the clam lives in, more so than anything else. The same species of crab, in fact, living in the calm Mediterranean, prefers a globular shell, while on the Atlantic coast of France, they prefer conical shells. Sometimes crabs almost barter for shells. They come across another hermit crab, Notice how totally awesome its shell is, and work out between the crabs a, a plan to swap homes. Win-win, at least some of the time, where both crabs could end up with a better fitting shell. That's certainly not always the case, though, and fighting over shells is not uncommon. To reduce stress in your tank, you may want to add some empty shells from time to time for your hermit crabs to trade up into. Empty shells don't stay clean and usable in our tanks for very long, so you'll probably want to do this from time to time. The greatest factor that hermits use to pick shells is size. They need to be able to fully retract into the shell for the greatest benefit. Yet the shell also can't be too heavy either. It needs to be big, but light enough to carry around all the time. Hermit crabs are really worth some attention. They come in bright colors. They're helpful cleaners for your tank, if not maybe a little bit annoying sometimes, but they're easy to care for. Pull up a chair, see what yours are up to tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take a moment to subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Have a great day. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. Bye.